Hey there YouTube, it's Ben with G Squared Brewing Company again, and I just wanted to post a video of step two of our mead making process, which is the clearing process. Now we're going to start by sanitizing all of our equipment here, including our tubes. Uh, this here is a wine thief in case we want to get a sample towards the end of the process here. And this is an auto siphon that we're going to use uh, to take all of our liquid out of our huge jug and into a fresh and clean one. Now this is our initial fermentation brewing vessel and as you can see all of that foam is gone and there are no bubbles forming anymore. That means that the fermentation is done. We didn't do anything to stop it, it's just its time is over. And you can see the airlock is not moving at all, uh, again which indicates that the fermentation is done. Now the process here that we're trying to do is we're trying to separate the liquid from this this uh, layer down at the bottom of sediment. That's like dead yeast cells and uh, just stuff you don't really want. We're going to put it into this clean one here so that we can get a better final product. Now of course you have to sanitize the secondary vessel. This is uh, my favorite tool ever. It's the quickest way to clean and sanitize. You just uh, lower this into your jug here with some sanitizing liquid and turn on your drill. And you start at the bottom. And as you can see, it's going to cover every surface and remove anything that's left in there. Uh, it does a really great job. It sanitizes in about five minutes with the solution that I use. All right, so we're going to take off the airlock here. And it's stuck on there pretty good. It's been on there for over a month is a good thing. And save that for later. If you want to sanitize that again, we're going to use that again. So this is our auto siphon here. You want to uh, attach your tubing to this part. Lower the tubing into the new vessel. And then you're going to put the solid part of the auto siphon into your initial fermentation vessel and at a higher level than the one you want to transfer into. Now this is a clip there that you see, it's just going to hold it in place. It just takes a couple of pumps and you don't really want it to go fast because we're trying to not suck up that sediment on the bottom. And it only took two pumps and as you can see it's flown into there pretty nicely. Not too fast, not too slow. We, do, we don't have it all the way at the bottom because again we don't want to suck up that sediment. But as you can see it's flowing through there pretty good. Put my hand up there so you can see it. This is what's left behind. There's the sediment. You can see it more clearly. And here's our beautiful looking secondary fermentation vessel. Looks all nice and clean. And we added some special secret ingredients. I can't tell you what they are. I'd have to kill you. But I sat here and shook those ingredients into the mixture for about 30 minutes. And it was pretty painstaking. Usually, better to have someone else with you so that you can split the labor up because this part really is pretty intense. Every once in a while, you see my thumb is on the top there. You release it to let out any carbon dioxide. That's what we're really trying to do, shake out that extra carbon dioxide. I just lifted my thumb up. And there's the, there's the person that I have helping me out. That's my dog Isaac, and he's giving me moral support. So if you're wondering what that sediment looks like at the end, I'll dump it out here for you. There's going to be some lemon peels in there. It just, it just looks like watery mud, really. Those are our lemon peels there. And at the bottom of this jug, you can really see the, how disgusting it is. There's like a thick mud layer down at the bottom. We're going to have to clean this out real well if we want to use it again. Stay tuned for more videos!